So today we're talking with Amy O'Neill. And Amy, tell us a little bit about yourself uh, with what you do, particularly to do with canine rehabilitation. Yep. So um, I've only just recently qualified. It was a little bit of a long, long journey trying to qualify for treating canines um, just by trying to run my own human and equine business at the same time. But um, I started doing dogs because I had my own special needs dogs. Um, and he had stuff going on in his back end with his hips and his lower lumbar and I wanted to come up with a solution to be able to manage him. Um, so then I started doing uh, canine and small animal Bowen therapy and have really found that using the red light in treatments with clients dogs as well as my own dog, they're just so receptive to it. They just absolutely love it. My dog, I pull out the pad and I say, you ready for the pad? You ready for the pad? And he just runs, jumps on the couch, lies on his side, waiting for the pad. So he absolutely loves it. Um, so some of the things that I use the pad on, and I've got um, just the standard flat pad, which is great. My dog can get quite sore through his rib cage and um, through his lumbar. So they're a little bit harder to use the pad on because they move a little bit more than horses and people. Um, but they're very good at telling you when they've had enough. Um, so just kind of an example for like your shoulder, elbow, especially like your Labradors and stuff like that. Um, I'd be using the pad just like so. And most of the time I don't feel like I need to strap it because they're pretty, pretty receptive, pretty happy to just relax with it on, generally fall asleep. Um, one of the other pads that I found quite useful was actually the equine pole pad for dogs. So um, this is actually, funnily enough, even though it's a specific pad, it's actually one of my most used pads, I would say, all right, Billy, in um, my business. And kind of one of the ways that I use it a lot with dogs, because it covers quite a big area. So your bigger dogs, like your Great Danes, um, Ridgebacks, those kind of bigger puppies, nice release there, good girl. Um, there, it's really good for if you wanted to actually get her to lie on it, it would wrap around her and be able to get both sides of the shoulder so that you then wouldn't have to get her to roll over. Um, one of the main areas I find it quite useful for, and I use it quite a lot, because um, I find hip problems, lower back problems being um, quite a big thing for dogs, is I actually, and uh, and Billy, you can turn it on so that people yeah. can see the yeah. array of lights. It's quite an unusual pad because it's specifically designed for horses' yeah. poles. Good girl. Are you ready? Here we go. And then I would then encourage her to lie down and to lie on the pad, and then I would just leave it until. And they're quite good at letting you know when they've had enough. Yes. Um, but I found that it covered a really nice area, and especially on a bigger dog like this covers right over the hip area and even for cruciate um, issues on smaller dogs. Um, I found that on the bigger dogs, the, um, the standard flat pad, Billy, come here, <laughs> come here. Yes. So I found, Billy, you can't go outside. <laughs> come here. <laughs> oh no. So I found with the bigger dogs, can you come here? You see? Sit. Oh, good girl. Yes. What did they say about movies? <laughs> Don't work with children or animals. <laughs> dogs are <laughs> dogs are the most fun and the most lovable to work with. Yes. Um, so with the bigger dogs, I'm gonna see Billy, you're gonna be good. You can use it for your cruciate repair, but it's more um, it takes up a little bit more of the leg than the smaller dogs. Um, but you know, that's not a problem either. My dog suffers quite a bit with pain through kind of his cruciate ligament. Um, if she was lying, if you wanted to lie down, that'd be good, Billy, but. <laughs> and, and what's your treatment time that you like to use with dogs? Um, treatment time for dogs is a lot less, I find, than horses. Um, they're very good at letting you know when they've had enough and when they want more. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and how do they do that, in your opinion? Kind of like what Billy's just done here, is she's gone, oh, this was a little bit too much. 
I've gone and wanted to go outside because I've had a little bit enough. And then generally they might go outside, have a shake, have a wee. Um, and if they want more, generally they come back and will lie for you to continue. If they don't come back, I kind of say, well, they've had enough. Horses mm -hmm. kind of display quite the same. They start to get fidgety towards the end of the session. Um, I do get the question from clients quite a bit when they see me use the pad and they're like, oh, you know, how do you know that it works? Um, you know, because they've never used it themselves. And obviously I use it quite a lot um, with animals and I do use it with human clients as well in treatment. Oh, good girl. Um, and I, or my answer to that is always the animals tell me that it works. Mm. Yep. People, I think we have an expectation that we have to feel, you know, fantastic and it has to, you know, have this huge, um, and we put an expectation on what we expect to feel after using something. Same with any kind of massage or physical therapy or anything like that. Um, our expectation is always a lot different to theirs, but how much they enjoy it and how much they relax and how much improvement you get in movement, ooh, um, I think tells you quite a lot. Yeah. Um, that it does work and that they do feel it and that they do feel improvement and they move better when they get up after using it. <laughs> yeah, and she actually just displayed a classical where um, I know when I've worked with dogs, um, they completely zone out and then within a very short period of time, they just get up, yep. shake it off, move off and, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So um, you're a, a DNS therapist yes. as well. If you could just let us know very quickly about what yep. DNS is and how you might use um, red light with your human clients. Yeah, so I see a lot. So DNS is an exercise based rehab therapy that I use um, predominantly in uh, rehab for miners. At the moment, I work with a mining company. Um, what does DNS stand for? So what it stands for is dynamic neuromuscular stabilization. Right. So it's a way of kind of reprogramming your brain through specific exercises to to get your body to function better overall. Mm -hmm. um, how I use red light with DNS is I generally tend to rent pads out to clients, especially post surgery. So we do um, a lot of I do deal with a lot of shoulder, you know, frozen shoulders, full. Um, you know, uh, rotor cuff tears, all that sort of stuff, surgery, bursitis, um, management from that perspective. So generally what I find works quite well with some of my patients is that we'll do an exercise program, but then they get the pad too. Mm -hmm. So I find that the pad really increases um, healing time, especially with like your ligament, tendon Decreases tears. healing Decreases, time. Decreases, sorry. <laughs> um, brain fart. And, um, but I also find even just inflammation, um, just, they just tend to feel better and they don't seem to get as many of those like grabbing, um, feelings or, um, aches that, that last for, um, ages. And I find that for, um, yeah, all injuries, cause I see everything from disc injuries to, um, you know, ACL repairs, um, rotor cuff repair, bursitis, um, hip tears. Um, I find that it's a great take home thing for them to use as well as their exercise program because it's something that they can do and wear, like especially this, you know, you could wear this for your shoulder surgery while you're walking around making a cup of tea, sitting, working at the computer. Mm. There's so many, you know, you can just strap, strap it to yourself um, or even, you know, ACL if you're sitting at home on the couch, bringing your leg up and resting the pad over the leg. So I find it a great additional tool to be able to help clients get back to work quicker, get back to their sport quicker, as well as pairing that um, with the exercise program. I also find using it during hands-on massage treatments fantastic too. Mm -hmm. um, just because some people can be really quite sore in certain areas like lower back, shoulders, um, and sometimes, and I find it the same with these guys and the same with horses, um, it's just a bit too much to get in there straight away. Yep. So sometimes I'll just leave the pad on, you know, especially like lower back sacrum area, um, let give the muscles time to release and then I can go in there and start working on that area without it being um, unco so uncomfortable for the patient. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I use them all the time. 
Terrific. And, and lastly, in your opinion, mm -hmm. um, uh, which tends to respond uh, quicker and more profoundly, in, in your opinion, the humans, horses or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. We've actually uh, had that right across the board. Yeah. And, and that's certainly been my, ex my experience. And I, I figured that it may be because um, they really, really do live in the moment. Yeah. Um, they've got faster metabolic rates. Yeah. So things you know, go through faster. And also um, the size of the pad in relation to their size is so much bigger. So oh, yeah, definitely. flooding effect. Yeah. I would say, mm. dog, I say horses, some horses can be quite apprehensive at first, but the more you use it, the, the better it gets. Um, but I think dogs, dogs just love it. They yeah. just think that it is like, I know my dog and clients dogs, like my dog gets this pretty much every night. Mm. Like when I get home, it comes in with the rest of my toolkit and he gets so excited when I say it's time for the pad. Um, so, you know, and I think it helps. I mean, my dog is an anxious dog and I think it helps soothe him. Mm. Um, and I think you know, I've had a lot of feedback from clients that have borrowed them for themselves or for animals that it does have a soothing effect. Um, and end endorphin release. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, it can be used for so many different things. Yeah. Um, you know, whether that be muscle related, tendon related, bone related, organ related, it just, you know, I've just let like, let friends borrow them for different things, rented them out to clients, um, you know, prescribed them as part of a, a rehab program. And um, yeah, just the feedback is just phenomenal. I think mm. people are quite surprised. And I always, and you know, what's great about being able to rent them is it's like that try before you buy it. If you try it, you'll love it mm. and you'll want one. Now you're based here in Perth, WA. Yes. So how can people get hold of you if they'd like to have a session either on themselves, their dog or their horse? So um, they can get hold of me um, via Facebook or via email or by phone. So uh, my Facebook is just Amy O'Neill and you'll see that there'll be a logo of a person, a horse and a dog in blue. Um, and then by email, Amy Ann, A M Y A N N E dot O'Neill at, at Outlook.com. And then by mobile, 045 055 1663. Terrific. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Amy. And no um, all the best with your practice. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs>